What's going on YouTube? This is SG1 Sports and you're watching our SEC football channel. So let's get started here with Auburn versus Oregon. Of course you could watch this game live here on the channel Tuesday. Every Tuesday we've been doing live uh, simulations and check it out early in the ball game Oregon fumbling the football. Auburn coming up with a turnover and they're going to run it in for the touchdown. Tarvius Whitlow from a couple of yards out, and Auburn up 7-0. But here comes Oregon back down the field late in the first quarter. Travis Dye running it in. It's a touchdown, and Oregon would tie the game up. Halfway through the second quarter, Joey Gatewood finds the tight end, and that's a touchdown. Auburn now up 14-7. At this point, the defense started to step up really for both teams. Oregon on third down there trying to set up a screen. Big Derek Brown with the stop in the backfield. They would be stopped. Uh, now Auburn trying to score before the half. Joey Gatewood going to run with it. And he fumbles the football. Oregon picks it up. And he is going to somehow stay in bounds, stay on his feet. That's a touchdown. And Oregon's defense coming up with a huge play in this game. Again, that was late in the first half. Uh, both teams would add a field goal in the third quarter. We go to the fourth quarter now. Third down and seven. Oregon trying to pick that up with a scramble there from Herbert. He's not able to. Now Joey Gatewood's turn on third down and eight. Almost, almost a pick six as the Oregon defense comes up with a stop now. Third down and four for Oregon. A minute and a half to play in the game. Look at that throw from Justin Herbert to Johnny Johnson. Now, again, third down and five. Herbert going to make a very similar throw to the other side of the field. And it's almost like an exact copy. Just check out this throw from Herbert. Uh, his ratings are pretty high here on the game. Um, not a great day, though. You see just 99 yards at that point. Uh, but Oregon now marching into field goal range, and they get a big run here all the way down around the 15-yard line. Here's the game-winning field goal. It is up, and it's good. And Oregon defeats Auburn 20-17. to Very similar to the national championship in 2010 where Auburn won it with a short field goal. Uh, that was very interesting to how that played out here on the game. But Auburn comes up short. They're going to start the season off 0-1, but they get Tulane and Kent State after that. We did not simulate those games, but we're going to assume that they win both of those it would be a, a pretty big shock if they were to lose one uh two lanes not a, not an awful team uh but again it's an sec school don't expect them to lose so two and one would be their record heading into the texas a&m game auburn up 10 to 7 there goes jo joey gatewood running it into the end zone for the touchdown the tigers up 17 to 7 third quarter now kellen mond looking to lead texas a&m back he's got a man back in the end zone kendrick rogers makes the catch for the touchdown and a&m pulls within three Fourth quarter now, third down and 10. Mond trying to get a big first down. It is knocked away, and the Auburn defense comes up with a stop. Now it's the offense's turn. They're just trying to run the clock out. Big completion there to pick up a first down. A&M running out of timeouts. Another first down would probably end this game. They go to the ground, and they pick up the first down. Eli Stove on the run. Third down and four now. Game's not actually over. And in real life, you take a knee here, but it's a video game, so they totally screwed up uh, and threw an incomplete pass. So now it's 20 to 14. Game's not over, but the Auburn defense really stepped up here on this final drive. They did not allow A&M to really get anywhere, and Auburn will survive. But again, the game should have been over. You take a knee there, and the clock would run out. Uh, but sometimes there's some questionable decision making here on this game. Usually it's pretty good, but you do have your glitches every now and then. So 20 to 14, Auburn wins that, gets off to a 1-0 start in SEC play, and they'll move on now to face Mississippi State. First quarter now, Joey Gatewood on a little option play finds his man. That is Whitlow on the option pitch, and Auburn up 7-3. Now Gatewood gonna throw one to the end zone. That's a touchdown. Will Hastings making the catch. Auburn up 14-3 now. They would run it in with Cam Martin, and they start to pull away here. Mississippi State, though, not going away. Third quarter, Keaton Thompson running it in for the touchdown in Mississippi State. And now 21-10. They're climbing back in it. But check out that run. It just runs through the defenders, and there's no one that is going to be able to catch him. It's a touchdown. And Jatarvius Whitlow for 73 yards. Auburn wins at 35-25. The offense starting to get it going now. A big win there over Mississippi State. So they're now 2-0 in the SEC. Just the one loss to Oregon. And they would be 4-1 overall at this point with a close loss to Oregon. This team probably is ranked in the top 15 at this point. 
Uh, the rankings are not going to change on these videos because they're all done in play now mode. Uh, but yeah, look at him run over those defenders. That was a really impressive run. Next game is against Florida. We go to the first quarter now. Felipe Frank's going to run it in for the touchdown. Florida up 7-zip. Auburn trying to answer back here. Joey Gatewood on second and 11. He is stopped, and the Florida defense really looked dominant early in this game. Uh, they would then add another touchdown here. Malik Davis from a couple of yards out. They're up 14-0, but Auburn did not go away. They put in a very impressive drive here to score before the half. 14-10 uh, to 10 now the score after a field goal, but Felipe Franks doing it again on the ground, 21-10. to 10. Fourth quarter now, Auburn coming back. Again, it's Cam Martin from a yard out. They're going to uh, go for two and not pick it up. So Florida up 21-16, third down and three. Huge stop here for the Auburn defense, and the field goal would be good, but it's an eight-point game, so Auburn not out of this one at all. They're trying to come back here. Joey Gatewood leading the Tigers. He's going to throw it deep down the left side, and that is a beautiful play. Seth Williams coming up with a 51-yard catch. Third down and 13 now, though, and there is the pass on the seam. It's Anthony Schwartz. Auburn, a two-point conversion away from tying this game. Gatewood hands it off, and there's the Florida defense coming up with a stop. Looked like he might get in there for a second, but it's the Florida defense again making that stop. Auburn has to go for the onside kick. They don't pick it up. Florida recovers, and Florida will win this one. 24 to 22 close game close game almost able to pull off the road upset but auburn will fall this will be their first sec loss of the season but they're still very much alive in the sec west race you can actually if you lose one game to an eastern or a, uh, the other division you're still in control of your own destiny actually because you would own all the tiebreakers if you beat everyone in the division so let's go to the next game it's against arkansas three to three first quarter Ben Hicks and the Razorbacks is going to take a deep shot. And somehow they come up with that catch. That was an impressive play. Mike Woods going up to get it over two defenders. Arkansas up. They would then score again here to go up 17-3. And they are looking good at this point. Auburn trying to come back. Struggling here on the road. Joey Gatewood completes that pass. And they are not going to get him. There's the speed again of Anthony Schwartz. Fastest player in college football. And now Arkansas, they come back, and they get a touchdown before halftime. So they're up two touchdowns, and they would actually get a, a quick stop and get the ball back. And Arkansas is starting to pull away at this point. There's the freshman Trey Knox coming up with a touchdown. But Auburn not going away. Down a couple of touchdowns here. Third down and seven. A little screen pass, and that's going to be a big gain all the way inside the five-yard line. Cam Martin making a big play. Second and goal, Auburn. Trying to punch it in. Climb within a touchdown. Gatewood just run it in. Yes, he will. It's a touchdown, and Auburn was in, is within seven. Onside kick time. They do not pick it up, but they do still have three timeouts. The game's not over yet. Arkansas can pretty much end the game with a first down. Second down and five. They go to the ground. Auburn not able to come up with a stop, and Arkansas will win it. A big upset here. 38-31. to 31. Tigers struggling here on the road. Uh, as they fell behind early, tried to come back, made a good effort, but could not get it done. And Arkansas will win it 38-31. to Auburn now with two losses in the SEC and three losses overall. So Auburn's still alive here in the SEC West, just with those two losses. You can't count them out just yet. Still some really difficult games on the schedule with LSU, Georgia, and Auburn. Let's go to the next game. It's against LSU. It's on the road. Very tough place to play. Auburn hasn't won there in a long, long time. Early on, it's LSU with a little short pass taken all the way for a touchdown. LSU up. But it's going to take a deep shot. Oh, boy, that's a touchdown. So a big play there from LSU, 14-0. And Auburn struggling offensively. They finally do get the touchdown here before halftime. 14-7 the score. Actually still some time left. Uh, and LSU again going deep. And somehow they get behind the Auburn defense. A missed tackle. And that's all the way down to about the one-yard line. Jamar Chase with a big play. They would then punch it in for the touchdown. LSU up 21-7. Third quarter now. Auburn already added a field goal now. Joey Gatewood going to run it in. And they're right back in the ball game, 21 to 17. But LSU not going away just yet. They add another touchdown, and they're going to be back up two possessions. And then it's Cam Martin's turn for Auburn. Back and forth we go here in the second half. Auburn actually getting it down here, and they would go for two. 
That was actually a two-point conversion. They did not pick it up. So 28-23 to 23 is the score. And there's a big stop from the Auburn defense. LSU going to try a long field goal. And it is good. And so LSU up 31-23. to 23. Auburn on third down and one. They pick up a huge first down. A minute to play. They've got to hurry. they got to score and get a two-point conversion. Now Gatewood finds a man diving into the end zone. It's Seth Williams with another clutch catch. And Auburn will have to go for two. They like to run it again. They did not learn their lesson against Florida, apparently, as they are stuffed. And they're going to have to try another onside kick. Almost an identical way to end the game uh, as we saw against Florida. Going for two, tried to run the football. This time they tried to go wide. It didn't work. And how about that? Auburn, in two games, they're a two-point conversion away from tying the game up, and they can't do it. Tough losses there, again, to Florida and LSU. So 31-29 to is now the score. Or was was the final score, I should say, as we move on. Sorry, I'm looking ahead to the schedule here. Ole Miss is up next. Auburn with the football. They throw a bad interception there. And Ole Miss going to take this one all the way back for the touchdown. A uh, big-time play there. So Ole Miss up 7-3 early. But now it's Auburn's turn as they get the interception. And that's going to be a pick six. So pick sixes for both teams in this game is Auburn up 10 to seven. Second quarter now. Auburn with the football. They run it in for the touchdown, and they're up by a couple of scores. Ole Miss now. They would punch it in, and the extra point would put them up by one. Fourth quarter now. Gatewood, a bad pitch, but he comes right back to him. He picks it up and runs it into the end zone. Talk about luck. Uh, they were very lucky there. Now a third down and seven for Ole Miss. Matt Corral throws that. It's batted away. Nick Coe getting his hand up, and Auburn would get the football back. They need a first down to run the clock out, and that's exactly what they get from Joey Gatewood. 26-21, to 21, the final. Auburn survives against Ole Miss. It's been a crazy season at this point. A lot of close games. Really, all of their losses were, were very close. Uh, the next game is going to be against Georgia. They'll face Georgia and then Sanford before playing Alabama. So uh, let's move on now to that Georgia game. Georgia up 20 to 10, third quarter. Auburn climbs within a field goal here with a Cam Martin touchdown run. 20 to 17. Now Georgia right back with DeAndre Swift. They're back up by 10. Third quarter. Joey Gatewood. He's off to the races. And somehow he gets by everyone. And that is a touchdown run for Auburn. So the Tigers. Hanging around, 27-24, Auburn on third down and goal. Gatewood going to the back of the end zone. It's knocked away, and they would settle for the field goal. Kick is up, and it's good. So we're tied at 27 with 5.04 to play. Georgia would march all the way down the field. They would kick the field goal. So 30-27 to 27 now the score. Auburn with just 12 seconds left. Third down and five, trying to get in field goal range. They complete the pass inside the 30, and they'll have a shot. This is for overtime. The kick is up. And it's good. So we are tied at 30. We're going to overtime. Third down and goal. Auburn runs it in for the touchdown. And that's their first possession. Now on fourth down and 14, the game is on the line. And Georgia delivers. What a clutch throw from Jake Fromm. Then on the next play or a couple plays later, they run it in for the touchdown. And now we are tied and heading to overtime number two. Jake Fromm on second down and eight. Looking. Completes it. And finds his man for the touchdown. Georgia. Scores a touchdown. Now Auburn's turn. They would score a touchdown, and we're going to go to a third overtime. This is an instant classic here. Third down and 12. Gatewood completes it, but it's going to be short of the first down, and they've got to settle for the field goal. The kick is good. So Auburn now up by three here in the third overtime. A touchdown would end it. Jake Fromm, a little screen pass. That's complete, and he's all the way down around the five-yard line. Now Fromm keeps it on the option, runs it in for the touchdown, and that's the win. I don't think they were expecting Fromm to keep the football there, but he did, and it's a walk-off win in overtime on the road for Georgia. This is a huge win for the Bulldogs. Auburn, a heartbreaking loss. Boy, I tell you what, every loss they've had has been rough. They would play Sanford after this. We can expect them to win that game. Uh, and Sanford's not on the game. You don't have FCS teams anyways. Uh, so it's going to be against Alabama here to close out the season. Auburn would be 6 and 5 at this point, looking to get to 7 and 5. A loss would take them obviously down to 6 and 6. Tua Tonga Valoa with the early touchdown pass as Alabama takes the lead. They're up 10 to nothing, but Auburn 
Hanging in there. They run it in for the touchdown. And the Tigers now within three. Third quarter is it was pretty low scoring in the first half. Tua finds man. It's going to be a touchdown in Alabama. Back up by 10. After a defensive stop, they bring it back, back down the field. It's another touchdown. And that's really the separation that they needed as they pull away. 31 to 15, the final score here. Not a bad blowout, but still. Uh, not a, a really competitive game. The worst loss of the season there for Auburn. As they will finish 6-6. Six and six, And with a brutal schedule, I mean, 6-6 six and six is very possible for this team. Uh, but if a few of those close games go their way, you know, they could win eight or nine games. Uh, but I don't think this is a, a really unrealistic simulation. Uh, again, given the fact that their schedule is really tough and it showed them having a lot of close games, it'll just come down to whether or not they can actually win those close games. Thank you for watching this video. If you're an SEC football fan, please subscribe to the channel. Leave us your thoughts down in the comments below. And for the latest in SEC football, keep it right here.